Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing today? There's a very, very serious matter that we have to talk about today. We need to trash it today. The sooner, the earlier, the better. They've reported some of you people to me. Some of you, yes. Your, your matter has come to my table. And my year, it me to come about you people. And that's what we want to talk about. But before we talk about that, let me tell you a very short story. So you know so you know that at least I understand to an extent. The very short story. Now I was at work on this very faithful day. So whenever I go to work, sometimes I take this water bottle with me. I don't know if you can see it. Sometimes I feel it sometimes it's water, sometimes it's juice, sometimes it's um smoothie, just something to drink. This exact water bottle. And I just went out, I had my break, then I went back. I think I was going to drop my back in the car. Then as I was exiting the building, this water, I don't have my bag here. This water bottle was in my bag, but you, as you can see, it's long. And the space, you know those spaces at the side of those backpacks? The space is small compared to the length of this water bottle. So the water bottle was inside. And I was, as I was trying to open the door with my hand so I could exit the building, the water bottle was... It was falling. It wanted to fall. It was falling or it was about to fall. So it was just a very, very quick reflex. Just to, you know, <laughs> say Superman. Just to save the water bottle from falling. Because I didn't want it to break, you know. So I didn't even think about it. It was just very quick reflex. Just a matter of seconds. As I turned sharply to, you know, stretch to save the water bottle, I just felt something strike my heart. It was, I had not been struck by th- thunder before. So I don't know how it feels. In case thunder has fired you before, <laughs> please let us know how it feels. So I can't say it felt like thunder, but it felt it felt really sharp. It was it was too real. It was really sharp. I felt that very sharp, as if something struck my heart. My heart gone gone. So I felt that very sharp. Is it pain, or I just felt something struck my heart at the time, and just in a matter of two three seconds. Two, three seconds, I, I felt like something was wrong with me. I wasn't shaking, but my left hand wasn't balanced. So it's really difficult to explain because all this happened in a matter of seconds. You know, that pain came and I felt like I wanted to fall. I didn't stagger, but you know, when you miss a step, it feels like you want to put your leg somewhere and you just miss a step. You swear. So it was just like this. So I had to hold the door open and I stood like this. Exactly how I'm showing you, I stood like this for I think a minute or two just to get myself just to get my balance then i stood up and i started walking slowly you know i was taking very little steps i was walking really slow and till the till, till i finished from work that day i just drastically reduced my activities i was walking really slow in fact i was talking really slow i was just taking my time because a lot of things were going through my mind at the time now we've had a lot of reports we've heard a lot of news about um people slumping at work people sleeping and not waking up as devastating as those news can be it's really devastating you know knowing that you have a friend or you know even if you don't know them personally it just feels really bad it feels really sad that things like this are happening to very young people and most of them are people who have relocated abroad you know from nigeria from africa to to improve their life to improve the quality of life for their children for family reasons for whatever reasons i just hear that after a year or two something happened and they just passed just like that my heart goes out to everyone who has lost someone recently or maybe since you moved into the uk or you've lost someone really close to you in that kind of circumstance um please accept my condolence or as a family accept our condolences we pray that you find hope and you find strength to to move on. It's really difficult, but we just have to move on. Now, the things that are going through my mind when that happened to me was, is this how it happens? So imagine that I'm I'm really grateful that it wasn't more than that. I'm grateful that, you know, I was able to get back up on my feet and, you know, continue my activities. Now, I'm not someone that, I mean, my wife is not here, but she can testify to that, that, one of the th- things I value most in my life is, is sleep. 
I don't I value my sleep so much. I love food, but I even value sleep more than food. So I rest a lot. So I, I can't say it's because I'm overworked or I'm involved in, in a lot of activities and all that. No, no, no. It's not that. But it just happened like that. I think I remember one of the first things I did when I got home was to research on, you know, this blood pressure. I don't know exactly what it's called. Blood pressure machine or blood pressure something. So just so we could buy it, have it at home. You know, do the necessary checks to make sure that I'm all right. You get what I'm saying? Now, you, those of you that they've reported to me, they said you people don't like to rest. There is a taboo in your family to rest. What is it going to profit you to do all the work, to make all the money? I mean, to, to hustle and do things and pack shift and do overtime and, and there's no long life. It, 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 it's not a funny thing to say, but... I mean, I, I feel that you should prioritize long life. You should prioritize good health over everything else. Because what's the point trying to amass wealth or trying to gather money or trying to do things and you don't have good health to, to spend the money or you don't have good health to enjoy the things that you've put together? There, there's just really no point. And uh, some of the report that has even come to me is that some of you, with the kind of work you do, with the kind of long hours you do, some of you, the least you do in a week is 60 hours. I don't know I don't know what you're trying to get. Maybe you're trying to buy a mansion in heaven. The least you do is 60 hours in a week. And you don't even eat good food. Now, this is, I don't want to sound unreasonable because it's, it's for some people, they're in a particular phase that you just have to do it. You just have to put in the work. You just have to make the money. It's that phase of your life. Some people have come in as students, and I know that you you had your complete money to pay your school fees for your living expenses. You had the complete money. For most people, it's in Naira, and due to the devaluation of Naira, you know, the money has lost value. So you need to put in extra work to make more money to cover up, up for that. You know, to pay your bills, to pay school fees. For some people, you want to move from student visa to post-study visa or to work visa, and you have to apply for the family, you have to pay for IHS. I know you have to make money, so it's a fix, I understand that. So I don't have any money I want to give to you or to borrow you. I don't have any financial advice. It's just on your health. So as much as you have to do the work because of the fix you are in, but at least try to eat good food. At least try to rest, try to sleep. Even if you are not sleeping, just relax your body. You don't have to walk and walk and walk. Some of you cannot just sit down in one place. It's a taboo in your family. You go to work, you come back home, you're arranging the house, you are doing this, you are doing that. I know that you have to do things, especially as a woman. I know that you have to, you know, cater for the family, you have to make food, you have to take care of the children. But sometimes, just learn to rest. Because if you don't rest by yourself, your body will do the rest for you. And we're trying to, we're praying against that, but we also have to work against that. So if that's the face of your life, the least you can do is not bread, 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 bread every time. Some of you is just junks, it's just snacks. It's the vending machine at your workplace. You just get coffee, you get soda, you get this, you get just to eat. You're doing 12 hour shift. You can't even eat good food. I mean, that's the least you can do. Some, some of you, when you see the pay slips of your friends, you, you get, is it jealous or envious? It just pricks you somehow that, come on, you're making 5,000 pounds a month. You're making ten thousand pounds. You're making three thousand pounds. You've done so, so so over time. What am I doing? Maybe you're just earning one five, or you're just earning one eight, and you're not feeling like you're not doing enough. See, our bodies are different. Some people can do long hours, and you know they will find a way to to make up. You know when they are resting, and some people can do short hours, and they are already tired. They need more time to recover. They need more time to rest. So you need to understand the kind of your body. But at least, can pity yourself, pity your wife, pity your children. Husband, if you see that your wife is one that does things like this, talk to your wife. Wives, if you see that it is your husband, talk to you. I, I know some people, it will even be the spouse that will be pushing the partner that to do more work. Do we, need, we are owing this, we need to pay this, we need to pay that. You should also advise them to rest. The prayer is that we won't lose ourselves, we won't lose our lives, we won't lose our partners, we won't lose our children. Pay attention to the most important things. So as much as the money is important, the work is important, pay attention to your health, pay attention to your life. If this is not a place that you can do regular blood checkup, regular body checkup and all that, at least get some devices, blood sugar, do it once in a while, your blood pressure, know what it's saying, know when you need to rest, know when you need to slow down. And one of the things you can do 
I mean, when I'm talking about resting, just watch movies. Some of you, you, you do the subscription, but you can't even sit down to watch that subscription. What you are subscribing for, you can't sit to watch it. You say you are subscribing for your, your spouse. Now, it's not gender related. You are subscribing for your spouse, maybe, but you are subscribing for the family or so the children can watch TV. What about you doing the subscription? You, you can't remember, remember the last time you watched a good movie. You can't remember the last time you saw it. You, you, you listened to good music. Just sit down. Just relax. See, in, in a bid to try to relax more, in a bid, I'm relaxing already. My wife, she will abuse me, she will insult me. I sleep too much. Mm-hmm. Because I know what I do at work. If you know me, you know I'm very active. I'm a very active person. I mean, I'm a sports person. I play football. I'm a, when I'm at work, I don't like sitting for too long. I'm sitting, I'm on the computer, I'm doing something. I just feel, I need to work. I need to do something. So I, I'll just stand up and start working around again. If you see me working at work, you know. So I'm very active. When I get home, I need to sleep. I need to rest. In a bit to do that more because I want to enjoy my life. I want my wife to enjoy. I want my children to enjoy. I want even my family back home. I want them to enjoy. But I also want to enjoy more. Look at this. Can you see? <laughs> this is Tozo. It's the new, they, they just released this. It's a new headphone HT2. So the link to this will be in the description box. If you also want to enjoy like me, you also want to relax, just put this, plug this on. Don't do this when you have when it's just you and the children at home. Please advise, don't do that. So that you can listen when they but when there's someone else at home to take care of the children or to look to take care of the house, just get something like this for yourself. And this is really good. It has um, active noise cancellation. And one of the things, one of the very important things that attracted me to Tozo, this Tozo earphones is it lasts really long. I mean it can last between 40 to 60 hours. 40 to 60 hours of playtime. Now the 40 to 60 hours is Dependent on if you are using active noise cancellation. But if you are not using active noise cancellation, it can take you for around 60 hours at least. Six, imagine having, I mean, you can't listen to music for 60 hours, but imagine having this, knowing that it's going to last long. It's also fun to know that you can download the app to enjoy it more. They have an app, Tozo app. On, you can find it on Google Play Store. You can find it on the iPhone App Store. The app is there. So imagine getting something like this for yourself. So this particular, they have different types. They have the headf- um, headphones like this. They have the one that looks like pods that you can just plug in your ear. They have different types. So if you go onto their website, you see the different types they have. And you can, I mean, enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. It says here it has adaptive hybrid active noise cancelling. It has the ENC call, call noise cancelling. IRES audio certification. So this is not the kind of headphone that you use and you won't even understand what you are listening to. This, as the producer or as the uh, singer, the artist, the way they re- sang the song and they released the music, you are hearing the raw sound as it was released. This won't change it for you. It's giving you the original sound. So please, if you want this exact type also, I'll leave the link in the, descri- in the description box. So please, what, what, what exactly are you pushing? And for those of you that your face is not that you're a student or that you're trying to move from one visa to another, you are ready. I won't say you're really stable, but you are, at, at least you're doing all right. See, one thing that I've come to discover is that, especially here in the UK, you, do, you don't need too much. If you don't live above your means, you don't need too much to, I won't say to survive. You don't need too much to do basic things. When I mean basic things, if you're still renting, you don't need too much to make to, to pay your bills, to get food, to get basic things that you need, if you get what I mean. And if you've bought your house or you want to buy your house, you don't need too much. I'm not saying that you should settle for the minimum or you should settle for less. Of course, aim I try to make more money, try to get a better job that will make you more money. So it's not the longer hours, it's getting a better job that will pay you more money. God will help every one of us to have long life and will have good health. But please pay attention to your health. Eat good food, have good sleep, have quality time for yourself, for your family, let your children enjoy you. Let your spouse, your husband, your wife, let them enjoy you. That's you now. I'm not talking about extended family. Focus on yourself first. <laughs> we'll be talking about we'll talk about extended family later. Go be and bye.